you know, the big thing when you when you're facing him is you, you try to make him work for you know everything, and you can defend him great, and he still has the capability of making. And the thing that makes him so dangerous is that he can beat you so many different ways. He can beat you with a pass, with a shot, with a post up, off the dribble. Um, so we, you know, you can't lose track, and you have to be disciplined. If you over help, he's going to make you pay with, you know, with his passing, and they get a lot of threes uh, because of over helping. So uh, everyone has to stay disciplined. He was talking about you this morning and just about defensive concepts and stuff and what he might be prepared to see tonight. In watching any film of him, have you seen basically every coach's sort of different scheme and concept against him? Well, yeah, I think that, you know when you're talking about him, he's there, there's nothing he hasn't seen, you know, and so I don't think you can give him uh, a steady diet of anything, you know, like you have to constantly make adjustments, and a lot of that's based on the personnel that's on the floor. Uh, but he's, you know, the, his mind is very unique. He's, you know, the, the way he sees the game and. You know, you, you need everyone tied together. I know it's a team thing, but in terms of making it work individually, does Jimmy do that just about as well as anybody? Well, you know, the thing about Jimmy is his size, and he's played against him a lot, you know, so I think that does help. Uh, but it's, you know, when you have a player like that, it's it's going to be everyone. And, you know, I'll, you'd like to have a second and third guy that you can put on him just to give him a different look. It seemed like early in the year, opposing defense, opposing offenses were hitting pretty high percentage of long twos against you guys. The last 20 games or so, that's dipped down into the 37, 36 percent. Is that kind of water finding its level, or are you guys more active even, even in what what you're doing with that? Yeah, or, yeah I think the defense is coming. You know, it'll, tonight will be a good test for us. Uh, it's something that we have to continue to work on every day. Uh, and then you have to be consistent with it. We can't pick and choose when, when we're going to play it. You have to do it every day. So that's something we're working towards. Just as Derek is getting ready to go back, what was your biggest takeaway in the time you spent with him? Huh. What he did there was so incredible, you know, to, uh, you know, his MVP year. I mean, he was so dominant. And it was uh, to do it at 22 years old. Uh, and to do it in that city, you know, that, that, where that team was down for such a long time, and for him, being from Chicago, uh, but he he was incredible every every night. So, and the best part about him was there were a lot of nights in which you know there were other people who played well, and he was so excited when they played well. And he was a great teammate, uh, you know, and then of course the the start of his career. He didn't miss any games. He was very durable. Uh, and then the, you know, to go through the, you know, the injuries that he's had, to go through one year of rehab is in, incredibly tough. But to have it be, you know, three years and four years, it's that's a lot on anybody. So I'm glad that he's doing well. Uh, you know, in, uh, but he was he was an incredible player there. He's still he's young. He's a great guy. You know, and I think, you know, as time goes on for all the people in Chicago, they'll appreciate what he did there more and more as time goes on. Tom, with Marcus George's hunt and his contract coming guaranteed yesterday, what have you liked about what he's brought to this team so far this season? Just as, you know, the approach, the attitude, uh, ready to play. Uh, you know, we can play him short minutes. He's, there's a defensive component to him. Uh, he's not afraid. He's got toughness, and we need toughness. So uh, uh, in whether he's playing or not playing, he's adding to our team. Coach, some of the numbers uh, lately defensively have backed up the fact what some of your guys have said, that they've been uh, more pleased with what has happened on the defensive end of the floor from your standpoint. What, what exactly is that? Just, I think, the you know consistency to work at it, to, uh, to concentrate on it, to prioritize it, not to take plays off, not to rest. You know, in this league, it's you know the way the offenses are and the, the amount of shooting that's on the floor. You can't. You really, if you you know, a ten point lead is is not safe. So, and you, you can't defend players this in this league individually. You, it requires everyone, uh, whether it's catch and shoot defense, defensive transition, pick and roll. It's everyone being tied together. If one guy's breaking down, it's 
it's going to hurt everybody. So I think that that's probably the biggest thing is just the, the effort of, and the concentration that's required. Thanks, Coach. Yeah. Thanks. Appreciate it, Tom.